A dangerous stunt has left two teenagers in hospital, one with serious injuries. And they had to be rescued after climbing a high voltage transmission tower. CTV's Gord Curvis reports. This photo taken Friday evening shows a challenging and terrifying rescue underway. As search and rescue volunteers make their way towards two teenagers in danger. They're kids, they're in trouble. Everybody responded from ambulance to fire to volunteer fire department to us as the police to search and rescue. The two, 117 and 118, were climbing back down after reaching the top of a high voltage transmission tower when one of them was hit with an electrical charge. From what I understand, only one was electrocuted and the other one was uh, uh, slightly burnt from extinguishing his friend. The younger teen used his hands to pat out the flames on his friend's clothing and then called 911. Both teams were up there for three and a half hours. He didn't abandon his friend when he was extremely injured and hurt and, and he needed that help and his friend there stayed with him, helped him and didn't let go until emergency personnel were able to intervene. This is not the first time people have climbed the privately owned transmission lines located near Duck Lakes just south of Powell River. Parents of both teens arrived on scene and anxiously waited for power to be cut to the towers. Both teens were airlifted to hospital in Vancouver where one still remains in intensive care. RCMP and Brookfield Energy are investigating Friday's incident. Police don't know if charges will be laid against the pair, saying right now the focus will be on their long recovery. Gord Curvis, CTV News, Power River.